What's up, uh, Real de Legions? Today I'm going to talk to you about an old topic uh, about digital formats versus physical formats when it comes to music. Uh, why today is uh, the reason that I, earlier this week I uh, read the news about a study that in Nordic countries roughly about 80% of music listeners uh, listen to their music uh, using stream services such as Spotify and YouTube mainly. There are others as well, as you might know, such as Deezer, Tidal, uh, Apple Music and YouTube Red or whatever. Different in different countries, but Spotify and YouTube seems to be the number one and number two. I'm not going to go into uh, deeply in figures or numbers when it comes to these streaming services. It's not the point of this video. The, well, why I'm talking about this today is that I decided to share this uh, news link on my Facebook page as a public post. It's in Finnish, so if you live in any other country, too bad for you, you cannot go and read it, but probably you can Google it up if it's really something that interests you. Anyway, uh, I share it because a lot of my friends play in a band or have a label or work in a record shop or whatever. It was my uh, attempt to kind of remind that if you play in a band, don't just get too uh, attached to having physical CDs or tapes or vinyl only. Not that I'm not saying you cannot do it. It's not like you should do it if you don't feel like doing it. But if you want to make your uh, art, such as music, spread more widely, don't just, you know, uh, cling to uh, physical format only because a lot of people are listening it while with, you know streaming services uh, whether you like it or not for example there are a lot of bands that are on YouTube lots of releases are on YouTube and they are not there just because the band or the label decided to put it there they are just there because some fan decided it's okay to upload that music now, I'm not gonna go uh, about the legal stuff or copyright stuff or whatever. It is not my concern really what you do. For example, my old band uh, has some stuff uploaded into YouTube with some person that decided it's okay to put it there and I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's not like it's gonna make money and even if it did, I don't give a fuck. It's, it's not beyond the scope of my interest anyway. The thing is that if uh, digital formats are not there legally, they're going to end up there illegally. Be it Blogspot or whatever blog format, there are lots of those sites that you can just, you know, download some ripped MP3 formats or whatever stuff. Then there are Bandcamps, which are obviously more legal services, SoundClouds and so forth. So, there are lots of music in digital format uh, on various services on uh, various formats and whatever but there are some old school or more underground people that obviously are more uh, attached to these physical formats LP is the number one when it comes to kind of like uh, law for the format it's you know big screens you know the big layouts uh, which give more uh, credit to the uh, actual cover images and whatever and um, CD is obviously number two, well, number one in sales probably, but you know, it still is like a, easy to listen to, but you can also get um, quite okay space for the cover image and whatever. And tape, well, that's for the uh, marginal enthusiasts only. But the thing is that when I mentioned uh, these figures that 80% are streaming, a lot of people started commenting um, like what is their, what is their uh, listening experience? Some said that uh, streaming or digital in whatever format is not uh, giving that the experience that the physical one is. There is no cover image. There are no lyrics. There is nothing. Get nothing to hold on. There is not no material. You're like, hey, I have digital files, and I totally understand the logic here. I myself, I love CDs. They're not the most practical format, but I love, you know, having something physical in my hands, you know, opening 
the CDK speed D chip or whatever, and you know, like looking at the images, oh, these guys look badass or they look really dumb. Why they are having a band or whatever? I like looking at the logos to cover images, uh, reading some random info, lyrics, whatever. I don't do it in depth most of the time because most of the music I listen to are uh, kind of promotional copies, be it uh, like a retail copies or whatever. They don't always have lyrics and most of the lyrics are shit anyway. So I cannot put all my time reading some random rants or lyrics or whatever are on the CD. But when I put the CDs on my shelf, like when I get new music there, uh, I love it when it's physical form. Now the thing is that people didn't actually uh, think my post, I mean sharing the news, they didn't seem to kind of grasp the idea what I was aiming for. Maybe it was just bad, bad like um, communications from my side. I didn't you know, underline the thing of what I was talking about. You know, maybe you should put your music and streaming services as well if you want more audience, be it your gigs, be it people buying your CDs, LPs, tapes or whatever. Uh, that was my aim, but people start basically, you know, start commenting that I don't like streaming services, I just listen to CDs and tapes or LPs or whatever. Or I don't get the experience from the CDs, I'm on digital format, I, I just need to have the physical ones. Yeah, sure, okay. But uh, I mean, what, what about your band? When you release some stuff, are you just happy that it's on CD or LP only and that's it? What about those that would like to stream it? Just because you don't like to stream it doesn't mean that somebody else is going to. And since there are always those kind of volunteers that want to share the love of an artist or band they're anyway gonna rip the cd or lp or whatever the form it is and upload it on youtube but this time the money as little as maybe is going to somebody else not the band uh, spotify is been all many times has been kind of bad shit about that the money they are giving away to artists are is next to none this might be the case, I'm not going to comment it, I don't have enough information or figures or numbers about that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's probably true, I'm not denying that. But in the terms of getting your band a uh, bigger audience, getting your band to get to known, you know, more globally maybe, and get to people to realize that there, there is this kind of band, even when the CDs are unavailable, maybe sold out or whatever, these kind of streaming services are actually helping to bands to build an audience. And if you're one of those kind of bands that say that we don't want more audience, we don't want people to, you know, stream our music, well, good luck with your stuff. It's not my place to judge or say that you shouldn't do that. I don't give a fuck. If you don't want to get more audience, if you don't want to get your music spread or whatever message or ideology or whatever you have in the band, I don't give a fuck. I have my ways to get the music if I want to, and I don't need to get all the CDs or the LPs or all the good music in what there is in the world. I probably have more than enough I can already chew on my spare time, so it's not my concern per se. But I'm just trying to say that maybe, just maybe if you're in a band and you know you want to get more audience, maybe Consider using Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music, Tidal, Google Music, YouTube, and so forth. Maybe just get those little tiny extra pennies out of your music, or at least sp spread your ideology through music, or just spread your love or legs, or I don't know, I don't give a fuck. Just something to think about. Now, the next thing is, that while there are these bands and uh, music lovers who are so much into physical format, the thing is that most labels are not. For example, the most of the promotional stuff I get every fucking week, it's more and more digital these days. So even if there is a like, like say, let's say underground black metal band that you know just 
you know, pledges on, you know, the physical form. Like, we're not gonna do anything, this kind of sellout stuff and put our music on YouTube st stream service or whatever, or Spotify or whatever. We're gonna stick to the physical format and we're fucking clear about it. Job well done. What about your label? Your label is most likely not going to send CDs. I've been, you know, lucky enough to get a lot of CDs, even to this very day, from uh, underground labels, you know, mainstream labels, and, you know, somewhere, those of somewhere between these two. Rauta has helped me a bit in that sense because I'm not gonna do reviews out of digital format. It's not like I'm gonna, hey, hey, we have this pretty cool uh, digital format. Let's see, there are no images, there are no lyrics, there are no bad photos. Look at the cover image, yes, you can see it. It's, it's pointless to do a video about digital release. But physical ones, if you have ever uh, watched a single uh, video review we were done here, you get the idea. I showed you uh, how the CD shows out, you know, what's the layout, what's the cover image, is there a band image, is there a lyric image, if it's a special format, like the Grift CD, which I received yesterday, and which we're gonna review later on, it was a pretty fucking cool looking uh, A5 size digipack, and those kind of releases are something worth looking for. But there are lots of labels which are not doing a, anything about, you know, your physical world. They're just sending digital files and expecting results to be the same as with the physical ones. So clearly, we live in a world where digital uh, format is taking more and more space. It's, it's ruling this world, whether you like it or not. You might be the last guardian on your uh, tape or LP or CD world. And there's nothing bad about it. Like I said, I love physical CDs. But the truth is, it's a war we are basically losing. So, bands that are, you know, clinging to idea that everything must be physical. Maybe you should just, you know, check your label if it's doing actually that. Because most likely it is not. So. Last, before I quit this video for today, I'm going to ask you, are you a format lover? Is your format CD, LP, tape, digital one, streaming service, whatever? Feel free to drop your comments below or on our Facebook page. I'm eager to uh, read them all and uh, if there is enough stuff you know, if enough comments or opinions or whatever, I'm gonna get back to you on another video about formats and whatnot. So, stay metal and leave your comments below. Bye!